Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Brochelt and in this video I would like to show you how you can use Azure Logic Apps to integrate SAP data into Microsoft applications. So let's take a look at what Microsoft Logic Apps are. Um, Logic Apps are a quick and easy way how to build um, integration solutions, how you can leverage um, certain source systems and integrate the data from these, um, these source systems into other systems. So basically, when you go to your Azure portal and you go to uh, the Logic Apps on the left-hand side, then you can see um, in the Logic App Designer that there are a lot of trigger points that help you get started with Logic Apps. So for example, um, you could react to a message that is received with the service bus. You could um, start your flow um, when you get an HTTP request. You could um, do something when an email in Outlook arrives. Um, similar there, there are a lot of templates that help you get started um, when you get a new um, contact in, in Dynamics or something like that. So very similar like the functions, the new functions that are now available with the SAP Cloud Platform where you can listen to events from your S4 HANA system. Here with Logic Apps, we have a huge library of trigger points that we can leverage to react on things that are happening well in the Microsoft universe, but also in some other cases. Once you have these trigger points, then you can take the resulting data and do something with it and format the data, send it to another system or something like that. And although we have, for example, a lot of HTTP um, call outs where we could send um, information, for example, to an OData service. One other very interesting thing with Logic Apps is that we have a solution or connector that allows you to send data to an SAP BAPI, to an RFC destination, basically. So you can trigger something also via um, yeah, we are in a BAPI. Again, um, looking forward, especially if you look at SAP Fiori and where SAP is going, I think OData is definitely the way to go. Still, we see lots of customers that are interested in actually leveraging RFCs. And that's something that I want to show you um, in this video. So as a starting point, I again have here my SAP Fiori application. Um, so this, this Fiori application is part of the um, EPM demo case. And for example, if I go here to manage products, then I can see a list of products. Um, there's again uh, yeah, um, a mobile device. And I can see that the supplier is the peer computing services. If I click on this supplier name, I get um, phone number and some other contact information. Now, with several customers that I've talked to, um, there, there is often a central SAP ERP system, a central SAP CRM system or something like that, but a lot of um, subsidiaries of this company are not using SAP. Maybe they're using um, Dynamics and obviously they want to also integrate that data from Dynamics into their SAP systems. So let's um, take a look at your Dynamics, look at the accounts that are available in the dy Dynamics system and also look for this um, peer computing services. So I can go in here into Dynamics. I can select this uh, this account, and I can see there's a phone number. So so let's change this phone number um, to well let's let's put in just some some nines. So I hit um, Enter, and I can save this information now in my CRM system. And now what should happen? Um, and I'll, I'll we'll take a look at. Be the behind the scenes basically in a second. But now what should happen um, is that we listen to this trigger point in the dynamic system um, and we update this phone number um, in the SAP system. So quickly ref let me refresh this Fiori page here. Um, so I'll um, refresh the page. We'll go back um, to the product. We'll take a look at the peer um, consulting supplier. And you can see that now the phone number was updated. So how was this done? Well, actually, that, that's pretty easy. Um, let's go back to the Logic Apps in, uh, in my Azure portal. Here in the Azure portal, 
I have created a logic app that is called Dynamics SAP Update. And basically what we're doing here, let's go to the logic app designer. What we are doing here is um, we, we're listening to an event. So when a record is updated in my CRM system, and again here I had to specify um, the organization name, I have to specify what accounts or what entities we're li listening to, in this case uh, accounts, and then we define, well, what should happen. So there's another um, next step, basically, and that is an SAP connector. And this SAP connector allows me to send a message to SAP. Again, we could have used an OData service and, and send a simple HTTP request. But um, since there are still a lot of customers out there who want to use RFCs, who want to leverage BAPIs, um, what I've done in this case is I, I leveraged this um, SAP connector that we have. And, and keep in mind, Logic Apps have lots and lots of other connectors that you can use to connect um, to other um, systems, non-SAP systems as well, obviously. But in this case, I'm just connecting um, to a bar PEPM BP change, so business partner change, basically. Um, and what I do in this, um, in this construct, uh, basically, I'm specifying um, the business partner ID. Okay, granted, I, I have hard-coded this, this um, uh, ID in this case, but obviously I could have also taken this IB, ID um, from my um, dynamic system. But then what I'm doing, I'm taking the phone number. So the phone number from um, the updated accounts um, entity, and I'm um, adding this variable, the, the phone number, into this um, BAPI structure that is now sent to my to my SAP system. And that's it. So, so that's a very, very straightforward um, process to send information via logic apps to my SAP system. The only interesting thing or the, the other behind the scene thing is basically, well, in a lot of cases, obviously the SAP system is behind a firewall. Um, it's in your local um, system, intranet or, or something like that. So you cannot simply access um, via the logic apps your SAP system. So what we needed to do is we needed to install an on-premises data gateway. Very similar like the SAP Cloud Connector for the SAP Cloud Platform, on Azure with Logic Apps, we have something that is called the On-Premises Data Gateway. So what I've done is I've, I've installed this On-Premises Data Gateway on a server that is actually inside my network. So um, this On-Premises Data Gateway is really running um, in, in the intranet more or less, so it has access to my SAP system. And so that's the, the system that actually connects um, from the on-premise world to my Azure systems. There's actually one other thing that I needed to do. Um, so I not only have to install the on-premises data gateway, um, which you can download here, but I also have to install the .NET connector because in the end, um, the .NET connector is what we are leveraging for the execution when, when we call this, uh, yeah, this uh, SAP connector here. That's where we are, first of all, connecting um, to the on-premises data gateway, and then we're sending um, this structure to the SAP system. Actually, um, one other thing that you need to do is you have to uh, create this, this body, this message that is actually sent um, to the SAP system. And since sometimes it can be complicated to um, construct or form um, such, a, um, such an input message, um, we also have... Um, and functional to, to generate um, this input schema, basically. So um, basically what I've done here is, is a very, very simple um, other logic app here. Um, I uh, have to specify um, an HTTP request, or I, I have an HTTP endpoint that I can call. And when it's the, this is done, then I just execute here. Okay, I, I guess I should refresh um, this connection here. What I'm doing here is I just um, generate a schema for my bar PEPM change, and that's it. And I, I just get the result, and um, I get this schema response as a result. And this is then something that I can use in my um, in my input um, for the the SAP system when I actually send this message to SAP. So again, this is a very very straightforward um, uh, scenario where you can very easily link um, your um, information from Dynamics, for example, 
um, to an SAP system. And obviously this could also be vice versa. You could update information from your SAP system um, in Dynamics, or you could have um, listening to, an, uh, to, to files that are stored on OneDrive or something like that, extract the information from these files and send or uh, yeah, um, create some um, IDOCs out of this in your SAP system. So with this, um, I hope you could see that it's actually pretty easy um, to connect um, yeah, non-SAP systems to an SAP system using the SAP connector that is available with the Logic Apps. Um, you just need in, uh, in specific cases an on-premise data gateway to make this connection from the Azure Cloud to your on-premise SAP system. You need to install the .NET connector to make sure that the SAP connector in Logic Apps can access your SAP system. And that's it. Then it's simply going to the Azure portal, creating a new Logic Apps, um, uh, yeah, working with the content that you have, and, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on Logic Apps. Um, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon.